Hello foodies. I'm calling on bread lovers because today I'm showing you guys how to make the perfect homemade bread. I mean, I mean, just look at the texture of this bread, you guys. This bread was incredible and I'm sharing this recipe with you guys today. So, you know, stay tuned. So to your warm water and yeast make sure you want to add something sweet so that the yeast could react to just going to give that a little stir i'm using honey but most times i use sugar and don't worry i'm going to list everything in the description bar for you guys and you're going to add one pack of active dry yeast give that a stir set it aside and let it double in size And guys, this recipe does make one loaf. So if you want to make more than one loaf, you double the recipe and so on. And to my bread flour, I'm going to add some salt. And I do recommend you use bread flour instead of all-purpose flour. Go ahead and mix that in. And then I'm going to add lard and butter. I like adding the both of them. To me, it gives the bread an amazing flavor. So yeah, I suggest that you do that. And I'm using my hands to get the lard and butter and flour and everything into a nice relationship. Let them, you know, get to know each other. And then you want to go ahead and gradually add your yeast mixture. And slowly work that into your flour, forming your dough. while the dough is coming together you want to begin the kneading process and make sure you get all the flour at the corners of the bowl make sure you incorporate all of that together and you want to knead for about 10 minutes so i'm going to start the kneading process here but we got some more kneading to do if you got a kitchen aid or a machine that could knead for you by all means but i love making my bread by hand so it's up to you I'm not sure if you guys are seeing this, but this dough was so incredibly soft, you guys. So you add it to your grease bowl. Just add a little bit of oil to your bowl, you know, just grease it so that the dough does not stick when it rises. And you just want to cover that and let it rise for one hour. And I like placing mine in the oven with the light on. Now she is risen. I don't know what I did there, but yeah, you're gonna take the dough out of the bowl, place it on your mat or whatever you, I mean, the pastry mat. Don't put it on a mat now, a mat, mat. Um, whatever surface that you're gonna work your dough on, you're gonna place it on there. And you just wanna spread it out a little bit, get her nice and spread out, kinda like you would if you're making a pizza. You don't necessarily need to use a rolling pin you could use your hands but i'm just you know using the rolling pin here um just spread it out a bit then you want to fold and roll into a log like so and i grease my pan maybe a little too much but hey <laughs> i grease my um loaf pan and i'm going to go ahead and place that in there and you guys, I went ahead and made another one off camera because I wanted to make two loaves, right? So here's my other um, dough. And I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the same thing. Spread it out, fold, roll into a log, and yeah. Yeah, I'm just one
then you want to cover these babies for about 45 minutes and let them rise and when they're risen they should look like this and at this point your oven should be preheated at 350 degrees and then we're going to place them in the oven to bake for about 45 minutes or until they're nice and golden brown now you guys i let it cool a little i was so tempted to cut this bread as soon as it came out the oven you guys but i let it just cool off a little bit and i'm gonna cut this for you guys so you can see the amazingness just look at how perfect our bread came out it was so incredibly soft this bread is perfect for french toast for sandwiches for anything literally you can cut it to the thickness that you like it is literally perfect so soft so soft i'm gonna say it again so soft and you guys need to make this bread asap asap Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you lovely people in my next video. Later.